Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 4975 and today we're going to be having a look at another GTA Online DLC concept. Now, this is a concept, it is not a DLC that is actually coming out, it has not been confirmed by Rockstar, but it is a really cool concept that I really like the idea of and um, I thought I'd share it with all of you. We've reviewed quite a few concepts here on the channel in the past um so yeah let's just hop straight into it i've got it loaded right here it's the software that we've had a look at for a few dlc concepts this one is created by carl's mustang 97 um we haven't actually seen any of his work here yet on the channel um but this was actually sent to me by lucifer reap um who put me in touch with this guy he made this concept and um, he asked if I could do a review on it. So that is what we're doing today. It is called the Golden Days DLC concept. And you can see it's about the 50s and 60s era. And those kind of cars and the fashion and the music that went with that time. And adding that into GTA Online. So um, a little bit of backstory on this. It's not supposed to be a mainstream DLC. It's not supposed to be like a big uh, summer or December DLC. This is supposed to be like a little filler March type DLC. Um, so just so you're aware of that. It's not supposed to be a big DLC. But it has a lot of cool um, ideas in it that I really like, so I thought that is why I'd share it with all of you. So let's have a little look. It says, a lot of people say the 50s, 60s, and 70s are the golden days. Well, in that case, get ready to go back with fashion and cars. And you can see they add a new um, golden days, 50s to 70s music radio station. And this is sort of like the logo you'd see on um, the radio picker. And I really like the idea of this. Um, those of you who know me well know that I'm a very old-fashioned person. I like old music. I like old cars. And I just generally like the feel of, like, the golden days, I guess. Um, so this DLC does appeal to me quite a lot. Welcome to the Golden Days Radio. We play everything from the 50s to the 70s. So this is some of the music that will be in it. So Three Dog Night One, Bobby Fuller. Um, I don't know how you pronounce that. I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to tell you all of these, but you can see all the songs there. If you want to have a look for yourself, you can pause it. I do like. Bad Moon Rising by Creedence Clearwater Revival. That is a great song. Um, you can have a look at some of these in your own time. Highway to Hell by ACDC. That is obviously quite a big one. Haley and his Comets. Rock Around the Clock. That is a great song. Um, Cal Perkins Blue Suede Shoes. I prefer Elvis Blue Suede Shoes. Um, but yeah, that's a really good song. Then we get on to vehicles. This is always the most exciting part of any DLC, at least for me. And you can see a picture of a Bel Air right here. So this is the, the Class A Tornado Retro. Um, so I don't know how it would be different from the regular Tornado, because the regular Tornado is already basically a 55 Bel Air. That is what it is mainly based off. So I don't know how it would be different, um, but... I do like the classic Bel Airs, they're really cool. We have the Albany Emperor Classic based off the 57 El Dorado and you can see this picture is taken from the Crew 2. But I love this vehicle in the Crew 2, it's absolutely fantastic, very underrated car. Um, and yeah, it would be a really nice addition to GTA Online. We have the Invetero Coquette Classic Race. Uh, based off the 59 Stingray concept race car. And you can see a picture of it here. Um, I don't know much about this vehicle. I'm going to be honest with you. But it looks to be sort of like. Uh, well they say it's a concept car. And it looks to be based off a C2 Corvette. You can see some of the body lines are based off a C2 Corvette. Um, but then it is like a concept race car. That's a really cool car. I'd like to see that in GT Online. We have one of my favorite vehicles. Um, the BF Ladybug. Which is obviously a mod created by GTA Wise Guy. 
um, based off a 1966 Beetle 1200, and you can see a picture of it right there. I'm, I still to this day can't understand why we haven't had a classic Beetle in GT Online. I would love a classic Beetle, especially if we could get a Herbie the Beetle livery as well. Um, that would be really nice. Um, but yeah, a classic Beetle would be really cool. Then we have the Declasse Voodoo Sports Sedan based off the 67 Impala Sports Sedan. So we already have a um, Chevy Impala in the game. Obviously, it is the Declasse Impala. But as Lucifer pointed out to me, that is a two-door. So it would be really nice to see a four-door version of the Impala. Um, you can see the uh, Sports Sedan here has uh, four doors. And I believe the only muscle car we have in the game that has four doors is the Tulip. So it'd be nice to see another muscle car with four doors and the sports sedan. Definitely a really cool vehicle. We have another one of my favourite vehicles in real life as well. And this is the C3 Corvette. And here they call this the Invetro Coquette. 427 based off the 1968 Corvette C3 427. Uh, there is actually a Vanilla Works mod for this for GT Online called the uh, Invetro Coquette Phobus, um, which I've used in some of my thumbnails here on the channel. And it's a really nice mod, actually. Um, it's basically a law friendly version of the C3 Corvette. So if you're into uh, GTA mods and you like law-friendly mods, then definitely check out the Vanilla Works Coquette Phobus because it's really cool. Then we have the Vapid Dominator Classic based off the 69 Mustang Boss 20, uh, 429. This is obviously taken from the Crew 2 again. And yeah, a classic Mustang would be really cool. We obviously have the... Um, Vapid Ellie, which is supposed to be a classic Mustang based off the Eleanor Mustang from Gone in 60 Seconds, but that is actually a Shelby GT500. So, a classic Boss Mustang like this would actually be a really nice addition. Then we have um, another really nice car we have the uh, classic Ferrari Daytona or the Ferrari GTB4. And he's called this the Grotty Stinger Retro. I really like this. If we got this vehicle in GT Online, you can definitely imagine that I would buy this. Pop-up headlights. Rockstar love that, so that's always a thing. It's a classic Ferrari. Um, yeah, this is the kind of car I could definitely see Rockstar adding in a future DLC. Or if we got this DLC. And obviously... Um, it does have a bit of pop culture reference as well because uh, Sonny Crockett had one of these in uh, Miami Vice before he got his Tessarossa. It did actually get blown up and that was obviously a convertible version but it was a Daytona which is really cool. Then we have the Fister Comet Classic race car which is based off the 1977 Porsche 9352 Coupe Baby. This is actually a new uh, vehicle in the Crew 2. This picture is from the Crew 2. Really cool vehicle in uh, the Crew 2. I do enjoy that thing. And it's a really awesome vehicle in real life as well. I don't know whether Rockstar would add something like this though. Because we already have the Comet Retro Classic. Which looks kind of similar. I know it's not the same car. But Rockstar don't like to go and add like very similar cars. And uh, since this is kind of like a race car version of a classic Porsche, we already kind of have that in, in the game. So, not sure if Rockstar would add that one, but it is a really cool vehicle. We have the classic Jeep Renegade. So, this would be called the Canis Mason Classic. Uh, I think that's supposed to be the Canis Mesa Classic. Uh, based off the 1979 Jeep Wrangler. And you can see a picture of it there. Kind of like a CJ um, Jeep. That would be a really nice addition. I've been saying for a long time um, that a classic uh, version of the Mesa would be really cool. And those of you who follow the channel for a while or know anything about me, you know that I do love off-roading. 
Um, I love off-road vehicles both in real life and in GTA. And um, I especially like classic off-road vehicles, classic 4x4s like this. So if we got this in GTA Online, I would be very happy with that. I love this uh, classic Jeep. It looks really cool. But then we move on to clothing. And obviously a lot of the clothing that's sort of going to be shown here is going to be like classic. Uh, I imagine most of it's like 80s is probably the most well-known era for like interesting clothing but we have a picture of a girl wearing like a dress here with kind of like a necker scarf i guess you'd call that um we have the classic leather jacket with the rock and roll on this is very like sort of 70s um mullet like t-top camaro vibes going on there um this is more i'd say sort of 80s um kind of like uh I don't even know what you'd call this, like a hip-hop jacket, and again with the, like, necker scarf. Um, we've got, like, the, yeah, the classic, this is what I was uh, talking about more, you know, we've got the classic sort of American car over here, and then we've got, like, the leather sort of pilot's jacket um, with, obviously, the aviator glasses. Really, really cool. Um, we have some interesting disco... Um, outfits here i don't really know how to describe them these are very more like 60s sort of 60s 70s um this is sort of like the flower power kind of vibes going on with this and then if you're not a fan of the 50s and 70s hopefully this concept has made has made you feel happy and try to add as much variety as i can Comment down below what you think and P.S. Sorry it took me forever. It was not easy finding any of this stuff. He's got a little bit of fan art going on here, uh, which is really nice. And that is the entire DLC. So it's a nice little short one. It does add some really cool stuff like some new clothing. I know um, there's a lot of people in the roleplay community in GTA Online that would definitely dig a DLC like this with new clothing and some like classic retro cars as well. And obviously the new radio station, I like classic music, so I'm really digging that, that's really cool. And if you wanna check out this DLC page for yourself or you want to leave Carl's Mustang a message, then I will leave a link in the description below to this amino page so you can check it out for yourself uh but yeah credit goes to carl's mustang 97 for um sharing this with me thank you very much it is an awesome dlc concept that i would love to see in gta online um i think you've done a great job with it and yeah that is going to do it for this dlc concept review though i hope you did enjoy let me know in the comment section down below if this is something that you'd like to see in gta online um but yeah that's going to do it for today thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in the next video